Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me again for another movie review. Uh, I'm your movie guru. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing uh, none other than Ad Astra. Uh, now, this is a film that's been getting a little bit of buzz. Uh, I affectionately refer it to as uh, Brad Pitt in Space. Uh, and this movie was uh, a little surprising, uh, and I'll get into why in a little bit. Uh, so first off, it's got a currently stands at an 82% score on Rotten Tomatoes and a 45% audience score. Uh, so I didn't check that until after I had seen the movie. I had seen the uh, that it had gotten really good critic scores, and uh, I had seen a lot of comments uh, from critics saying that you know giving it really high praise, uh, and so I was excited to see the movie. Uh, after actually seeing it, uh, I was a bit surprised, uh, and it's not that it wasn't a good movie, it's just that it was a lot different than what I was expecting. Uh, so there's been a few uh, space films that uh, have come out and that have been really well done lately. Uh, what immediately comes to mind is uh, Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. Uh, you had The Martian with Matt Damon, and then uh, even uh, Gravity with Sandra Bullock and uh, George Clooney. And this, I was kind of expecting something more along those lines uh, when I saw this film. And the trailers kind of made it seem that way, uh, that this was going to be, you know, kind of a space epic. Uh, but, you know, not so far in the future that we can't relate to it. Uh, like I say, quite similar to films like The Martian and uh, Interstellar, and then Gravity was uh, a film that was done, you know, kind of based on with the current technology that we have today. Uh, so I kind of, you know, expected something along that vein. Uh, and the movie that we got was much more human. Uh, and what I mean by human is uh, it's much more of a, a drama uh rooted in, in, in the space and the exploration and you know uh the scenery and all that all that's really just uh a background for the story between uh brad pitt and his father uh you know i'm not i don't want to give anything away or you know uh i don't do spoilers but uh the film uh is essentially about that the film is essentially be about uh, the relationship between, you know, a person or, you know, a child and their parent. Uh, and uh, I think in a larger scale uh, type of humanity and its place in the universe. Uh, that's the type of film uh, that this was really about. Uh, but the trailers really didn't prepare you for such. You know, that's not really kind of what you expected going in. And so then after going home and then, you know, seeing the big disparity between the critic and the audience rating, uh, you know, that's kind of what I expected because I could see a lot of people going in, you know, and expecting, you know, that type of space uh, action uh, type of sci-fi film and then getting what is essentially, you know, a, a, a character drama and, you know, being dissatisfied. Uh, so... As your, you know, your average uh, moviegoer, uh, uh, your average, uh, you know, just your average person in the audience, you probably uh, would, I would think that you would walk out thinking it's a 6 out of 10. Uh, as a critic, uh, me looking back on the film and, you know, seeing the things that they did right, uh, I think that Brad Pitt did an excellent job of acting. You know, I think it was really well done. Uh, he really portrays his character well. Uh, you don't think of him as Brad Pitt. You think of him... Uh, as his character and it, uh, you can you feel the emotion you can feel uh, the angst you can feel the anxiety you can feel the hurt and like the, the pain that he feels you know you can relate to him and then I think uh, Tommy Lee Jones uh, he does a good job as well uh, you don't get to see him you know that much but for the time that he's in I think he uh, portrays his uh, character well as well uh, so like I said, those are things that they did right. And I think that the backdrop, the scenery is gorgeous. Uh, uh, 
very rooted in humanity. Uh, you know, nothing, you know, too beyond the brink or something that's unbelievable or, you know, fantastical. Uh, something that's, you know, a little bit ambitious that makes you, you know, kind of look and see, you know, hey, where we might end up or, you know, uh, a trajectory that humanity might follow, uh, but not, you know, so far off as to where you can't relate to it. And so I think they did a really good job at that. As a critic, I'd probably give this movie a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, as, you know, just your regular uh, audience goer coming in to see this film and, you know, expecting one of those type of films that I've seen before, I'd probably give it a six out of ten. Uh, so with this film, I, I've kind of got two different ratings for that, and that's why. Uh, so when I, like I said, once I went back home and I saw that it got a 42%, you know, I, that kind of made sense to me why there was such a great disparity. Uh, and then uh, just kind of like a, a caveat, like I, I want to explain this because uh, not just this movie, but uh, recently a lot of people, uh, you know, have been talking about this movie online and... Uh, this has been a problem with Rotten Tomatoes uh, since its inception, but uh, it still kind of lingers on. Uh, so I kind of want to just take a little bit of a step back here and explain that. Uh, so when a movie has, what Rotten Tomatoes does is it's a, a review aggregator. Uh, so the fact that this movie got an 82% score, uh, critic score, does not mean that, you know, they added up all the critics' ratings, you know, and said, okay, this critic gave it a 10 out of 10, this one gave it a 5 out of 10, this one gave it a 7 out of 10, and said the average score is at 82%. Uh, this is what I find how most people kind of come to understand it, and that's how they use it at. They look at it and say, oh, okay, this got an 82% score, that means that, you know, its average rating was at 8 out of 10. Uh, no. What Rotten Tomatoes does is, the 82% represents how many critics scored it favorably. So 82% of the critics that saw it gave it a positive rating. That doesn't tell you how positively they rated it. Uh, if they gave it a 5.1 out of 10, that's a positive rating. Uh, so if you, you could have a, a, a critic could, have, or I mean a movie could have a 95% Rotten Tomato score and 80% of you know those critics ratings could have been a six out of ten and then you know you're coming into it expecting all oh, this is going to be this great movie and then you know you're upset uh that's why when i'm seeing films you know if i see that it has a rotten tomato score you know by the critics of 50 percent to me it's not you know necessarily a kiss of death because uh a movie can just be polarizing you know uh, some people can, you know, that's just not the type of movie for them. And so they give it a, a unfavorable score. Whereas you look at it, okay, it got a 50% 50 per, 50 score on Rotten Tomatoes. But if you look at the critics that did score it positively, you might see they gave it, you know, eights and nines. Uh, so just wanted kind to explain that and, you know, get that out of the way. Uh, you know, that's what Rotten Tomatoes score, that's what it actually means. Um, so, but, uh, I've seen that, like I said, especially in relation to this movie recently, I've seen a lot online about, you know, Hey, why is this, you know, the critics think this is a eight out of 10 and the, the fans think this is a four out of 10, you know, that's, that's not exactly how it works. Uh, but like I said, I think that if you go into this movie with the right expectations, I uh, go into this movie expecting that, Hey, I'm going to see a character piece. I'm going to see a uh, movie about uh, you know, a child's relationship with their parent. And, you know, I'm going to see, uh, you know, that type of film, that type of character drama. Uh, but instead it's going to have, you know, this different scenery, this, this scenery and space, that's going to be the backdrop for it. Uh, and it's going to make through that relationship, uh, it's going to make a statement on humanity's relationship as a whole. Uh, if you're going ex expecting that's the type of movie that I'm going to see, I do think you'll enjoy this film. And that's why I give it out of seven, seven and a half out of 10. Uh, that I think they, they did execute well. Uh, so that's all for this one. Thanks you guys once again for watching. If you think I'm crazy, uh, if you think uh, this movie was excellent and I should have gave it a nine out of 10, <laughs> let me know. We can talk about it. Uh, if you think that I'm nuts and this was one of the worst uh, sci-fi space movies that you've ever seen, hey, let me know too. We can talk about it. Uh, once again, thank you guys for the support. If you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. 
Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.